Suzanne, I love this year's trends. Do you? I often don't. I know you didn't I, like all of them last well, year. Well, some of them get weird, <laughs> like the chair with the stuffing showing. It was an artistic it, moment. Yeah. But this year, the trends are livable. We made them very livable. Yes. We really wanted to hone in on the things that we think people need to know and want in their yes. homes. Okay, so the first one I'm going to start with is the one that we called bringing nature inside. I think it's the whole idea of us craving that connection to the outdoors more so than ever. Right. Um, we were chatting a little bit earlier about how when you go to climates where they have actually no doors or no windows and you get that lovely breezy feel, well now you can actually bring that to a colder climate like ours and make it work because they're so well made, the doors, the nano doors mostly. Mm -hmm. Now, even though it's a very contemporary look really, I think, to have that beautiful nano wall, and there's also nano windows, mm -hmm. so you don't actually have to go with the full wall. Mm -hmm. I think you can get that feeling in a traditional house just by little touches, like the idea of bringing nature inside. So things like putting brickwork mm -hmm. or stonework in mm -hmm. your front hall as Love opposed that. to hardwood. Really, those materials that you might traditionally see on your patio yep. are showing up in formal rooms, like yep. your front hall. I think that's very cool. They have these gorgeous knobs that look like they're made out of rocks. Yep. You can add those just in small ways onto your furniture as a little touch of nature. I absolutely think this trend's going to last. Yep. I think that more and more, with cities getting busier and busier, more and more high-rises going up around us, that we crave that connection to outdoors more and more. So if you can bring that little bit of nature into your house... Yep. I think it's here to stay. It's I a good too. trend. This next one is my favorite. Well, this is your look. You think? Yes. 100%. If I had to put a name on it, this would be Linda's look. Really? For sure. Absolutely. I love this look. Yeah. It's quiet luxury. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it's a state of mind first. Do you? Yes. Meaning? I think if you start thinking about how you'd like to dress. Yes. The older you get, I think, the less you go for disposable clothes. Right. And the more you go for investment pieces yes. that have a little classic edge. Yep. And you can bring in, you know, things that are trendy with accessories and Just scarves small and small too. things. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you're willing to spend. Yes. I think that you do the same thing at home and you have quiet luxury. This loft, yeah. Vincent sense. Wolves, yeah. which was on our cover yeah. in Manhattan, I actually was there and so many lucky. years ago. So and lucky. I was blown away. Yeah. And I thought, okay, this is what I have to have when I grow up. It was fantastic. Yeah. It's still the same loft. I know he hasn't changed it He's that just much, moved right? things around. His floor has always been white yeah. and his walls have always been white and his window frames have always been off black. Mm -hmm. There aren't many layers. No. And the, the luxuries and the detailing. Vincent's place is very light yes. and, and quite yeah. open. Yep. Whereas the one from Barbara Berry is more rich and dark yeah. Yeah. and moody. Yeah. So you're right. I think it's Calm. about subtle textures, subtle patterns, a lot of neutrals too. Yeah. Just little hints yeah. of pattern. Yeah. 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 Love it's it. It's a beautiful look. I can't And exquisite this. detailing in a lot of the furniture that we picked. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one that I think we should talk about is the fearless mixing. Because it's totally different. It's totally different. Yep. I think this look is about wanting to be classical, yeah. wanting to bring in bright, strong color, and not wanting to be stuffy. Okay. It's traditional, but it's young. It's very young. You can bring it's in very wacky bold. colors. But the key is you have to keep going. Right. Everything has to be equal weight. Right. Lots. Not of, a little bit. You have to no, go for it. the whole thing. <laughs> and then I think it balances each other out and then it becomes calm. When I think of this, I think of England, London. When you go to flats in London, you see a lot of color, a lot of pattern, a lot of mixing. It's North America where we're beige and green. I know, you're right. It's kind of like, I call it British bad boy. Uh, okay. The room we featured is by Miles Red. Yeah. He's sort of a master of the look. Yeah. And I feel like, oh, it takes so much confidence to do this. You have to be committed. Right. You can't think, oh, well, I'll change my look next week. No. This is it. Yeah, because you, you can get tired of this, right? So you have to know you like it. Yeah. So like I said, Miles is one of the guys, the designers, who's really good at doing this. Mm -hmm. I think probably if we had to pick some more people like Nikki Haslam mm -hmm. um, and Colette, who's mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. here in Toronto mm -hmm. doing it. And it's that. an old school thing, yeah. too. Some of the old decorators who are no longer with mm -hmm. us were famous for this kind of look. Well, you have to have a great understanding of the classics to, to break the rules. And yeah. all of those people that we mentioned yeah. know their stuff. Yeah that way. So our last look, Simple Scandi, that's what we call it. Again, another quite contemporary modern look, really based on editing. I think that's the key to it, is getting stuff out. So really paring or it never down to finishing. the basics. Or that. But, you, know, <laughs> really? you think it, it looks be. unfinished? Well, yeah. I mean, wouldn't you be saying to yourself, where's the rug? Well, I know what you're saying, but there's a beauty in that floor. Like if you've invested in a really gorgeous quality floor and you want to show it off, I think for a lot of people there's sort of 
uh, a beauty in living simply and mm -hmm. in feeling like you don't need quite as much. And I think it's like you look at your furniture almost as um, they're like individual pieces of sculpture. Mm -hmm. And there's such a beauty in that and you take so much pleasure in that. Mm -hmm. You do have to embrace the contemporary for sure. Mm -hmm. Very little color. This is all about like our palette mm -hmm. is, you know, your neutral putties, your white walls for sure, maybe a touch of subtle, subtle blue. And that's about it. So what do you think makes it easy for people to navigate through all of these well, trends that we present every year? You have to see yourself. You yeah. have to look at the picture and say, mm -hmm. this is my house, it could handle yeah. this. This is my look, I could inject some of this. I could inject a little fearless something right. to mix. <laughs> or I could bring a bit more luxury. Right. Or maybe I have too many rugs. You have to look for what suits What's you. really your personal style. Yes. And right. if you step too far outside of it, you're yeah. probably going to get sick of it. Yeah. You'll, you'll like it for a while, but you'll go back. Yeah. So you have to be true to yourself. Yeah. That's the message. Absolutely. That's the message overall, you have to be true to yourself.